A video that has gone viral of a what's called a trans girl supposedly experiencing intense period pain after undergoing oh, yeah. hormone replacement therapy. This video is just uh, getting millions and millions of views online. Now, I don't even know where to start with this, Douglas. I mean, if you don't have a uterus, then you don't have periods. But to the bigger issue of this huge jump we've seen in young people identifying as LGBTQ, there was a recent study saying that almost 40% of liberal arts students in the US identify now as LGBTQ. Uh, why do you think there's been such a significant jump in these numbers? I'll tell you what's happened. The, the, the gay population uh, will have remained completely static, as it has been throughout most of recorded history. Uh, gays make up a tiny percentage of the population. Uh, um, there's an even tiny, a much, much tinier percentage of the population, not, uh, not point naught something, uh, who ha have potential to be called trans. But what we see is, of course, this cultural weirdness going on in our time. It's a form of mass psychosis a form of mental breakdown, and among other things, a, a way in which young people who don't see many prospects for themselves for being interesting can claim to be interesting. You see, if you've got the disadvantage of, say, being, you know, a young white male, um, well, you've got nothing going for you. But if you say you're a member of the queer community, and by the way, I hate that term. I hate the fact that they've taken this horrible old term and are now using it to their own advantage to push a different agenda. Uh, gays have nothing to do with these people who claim they're queer. They have nothing to do with people who claim to get period pains and cramps when they've not got a uterus. To hell with these people who are making everyone look like fools. I wish we could disassociate all of this. I've done my bit, but I wish more people did it. People have just got to speak out and say this is absolute nonsense. You don't get period pains if you don't have a uterus, and it's deeply offensive to women and also to men and, frankly, to anyone who's got a brain. Yeah, yeah, Douglas Murray, always a pleasure to speak with you and I'll see you in the new year.